Hey, welcome back to your home for rugby coaching and analysis with me, Geraint Davis. While kicking might not always make the most enjoyable games, when teams prioritise putting boot to ball over anything else, when you get two teams that want to play, then the kick can create opportunities for an attack to sparkle. And in this video, we're going to take a detailed look at two awesome tries, one from Reese Priestland for Bath and the other by Tom Cruise for Wasps. We're going to look at the small moments that make the big moments possible and how every magic moment in a game has a deeper story to tell. Let's start with this first one by Rhys Priestland. The play starts with the five man line out, and although Kieran Brooks misses the lift, Wasp are able to set a platform, and Brooks works really hard to get around the corner and lead the shape off nine. Then, Wasp set the field for one of the current hot trends in the game, the crossfield bomb. Now the intention here is to pressurise and not to contest, trying to force an error or to win a turnover. And this is where some of the details that lead to the try start to appear. Wasps have got their chase as they want it. Connected teams with three chasing the ball. And the strategy naturally places the rest of the team into a defence setup with a full field coverage. Watson absolutely nails his blocking roll and it's a wonderful take on Redpath. Bath now look to set a wide short side. Which gives the outside backs time to reload before the kick can then take place with a strong chase team. But just look at some of the body language from the players on the outside. Signal in the possible space and Fallot how is reloading for a counter-attack. But Bath decide the picture isn't quite right yet. And I like this bit of variation using Priest and Declear rather than the box. De Jong plays a blinder here, doing enough to protect Sapoanga from Watson. Now you'll notice that like Bath, Wasps don't kick straight away. They play a phase back in field. And the purpose of this is to enable Bassett, De Jong, Smith and Sapoanga to reload and to order the field before then playing back to the desired 50 metre target that I covered in my restarts video. And this is the moment the priest and try was made possible. Yumanga is clearly telling his forwards to go blind, but as they're too slow, Willis is joined by Jejong and Sapoanga in the shape of nine, and the rack ends up being resourced by six players, with only Gaskell, who's reacted and folded blind, and Bassett chasing the blindside kick. Now the knock-on effect of all of this is that rather than holding width, Lonsbury jams in to close the gap along with Cruz, and Redpath is incredibly well a transition from the catch straight into attack. Notice again how keen the outside attack is. They can see the Wasps are 12 players in half a pitch, and I love how quickly Priestland spots the opportunity and works his socks off to get on the outside of Mercer. You've got to love this French style, take the contact and one-handed offload, keeping the attack alive. That patient build-up, understanding of attacking strategy, and awareness and willingness to take the opportunities when they're presented results in a wonderful five-pointer for Bath. Now if you thought that was good, I think this one might be even better. Not to be outdone, Wasp brought themselves back into it with a searing break from Adogwu, who links with the outstanding and ever-reliable Dan Robson, who puts the nimble-footed Tom Cruise in for the try. Again, kick in and the opportunities it affords open-minded attacks is a key feature of this try. After a bit of contest of the restart, as we now understand, Bath are going to play a phase back in field. Now the target for chase teams is to work in threes. The middle player on the ball and a support player either side. So I want you to focus on the players reloading from the ruck. Underhill and Watson hold blind, but Falatau, presumably being called there by Redpath, goes open leaving a two-man chase team on the blind. And the outcome of this is that when Spencer kicks, Falatau drifts towards the ball and is followed in by Redpath and Watson, giving Bath only five players in their entire chase team. So with a bit of extra time afforded by the slightly long kick from Spencer, Sapoang already knows there's an opportunity, and I love how quick he is to give it a crack. Also take note of Brooks here, who gets himself into the chase sign in front of Redpath, causing him to slightly deviate his run, and these small details are often enough to make the big things happen. Then it's over to a Adogwu to do his thing, showing incredible acceleration from a standing start, and that's incredible awareness to step off his left towards Robson, and that's a quality sidestep from Cruz that beat the drift in McConaughey. It's amazing what can be achieved when all players understand what you're trying to achieve and they commit to creating and taking opportunities. I'd love to hear your comments on the video below and indeed any ideas that you have. Please do like, share and subscribe to help the channel grow. Also do check out my Patreon for more exclusive content. Thanks for watching.